I've always wondered about train noise levels in places like this. Now we're gonna know what that's like. Okay, the train tracks are right there. Look at that! All the rooms are getting tons of natural light. The kitchen itself has been recently updated. You do hear it, but it doesn't shake the apartment. This is what it takes to get started in New York City if your budget's $900 a month. To get here, we took the L. Right by the train, there's tons of bars and restaurants like this place behind me, and the apartment is a 10 minute walk. That's not terrible. Wow, how Brooklyn is this coffee shop? Incredible looking menu, hipster bike parked outside, outdoor dining for three people. Seems legit to me. Inca chicken, is this Peruvian? I'm not sure, but if you ever get the chance to have Peruvian chicken in New York, do it. Unless Subway starts offering Peruvian chicken. I'm skeptical of everything on the Subway menu because it seems they've been lying to us all these years. Next to that, we got a discount store. Look at all the exciting appliances Appliances that can clutter your kitchen counter. Just get the little espresso maker and call it a day. I use one of those every morning, it's totally worth it. You'd think that with good coffee being so easy to make yourself, places like this wouldn't exist. But they do, somehow. At least there's a hospital across the street in case you get sick. This looks like a taco bistro. Next to that, we've got a Mexican restaurant. This menu looks amazing. Look at that, and they've got coffee and crown fried chicken. Are these a chain? I think they are. I know I've seen that sign before. This looks like a little Spanish diner. Right on top of the train too. Great location. Then we've got the post office, which apparently no longer allows rollerblades. Would removing that restriction reverse the fortunes of the post office? That's a question I can't answer. Over here we've got the Bushwick Key Foods. Full grocery store, five minutes away from the building. That is a good sign. And if your neighbor's a package thief, you can have your stuff dropped off here. I'm assuming that lockers like this never get broken into ever. But Seriously, this seems like a nice little quiet neighborhood once you get away from that busy avenue we were on earlier. And aside from little businesses like this laundromat and this barbershop, things here are barely free of street traffic. Oh, cool, check out this little hidden restaurant. It says it's a deli, but look at the menu and look at the pictures. This place has everything. You wouldn't necessarily see it because it's off the beaten path here. This is like a side street, but that's your reward for wandering the streets of New York, little secret spots like that. Oh my. My goodness, what the heck is going on here? All right, this thing's obviously not going anywhere, but in the window there's a flyer for an auto repair service. It doesn't look like anyone's called that number just yet. Then we've got the Blue Koala Cafe. Neighborhood names seem to be the menu, very interesting. Now we're on Knickerbocker Avenue. It looks like the neighborhood gets going again over here. There's little businesses and shops on both sides of the street, like this little fruit market right here. Your lifespan may increase if this is where you get your food, but it might decrease if this is where you shop, because I don't know if this stuff is good for you. But at least they have flying dog ale. When I drank constantly, that was one of my favorites. Seems things are getting a little commercialized over here, but there is a local bagel shop, and it actually looks pretty full inside. That usually means it's a pretty good bagel shop. But if you see people inside of a bank, it's a really bad sign. People only go into banks to complain. Royal Enfield. Clean looking motorcycle. Really clean looking, actually. I bet it's fun to ride around in. This is probably fun too, just in a much different and much scarier way. Oh, motorcycles, they're so cool, but so terrifying. The building should be over here somewhere. I'm looking for Myrtle Avenue, Himrod Street. Interesting name. I'm not exactly sure where I am right now. Oh wait, there's the building. Looks pretty nice actually, even though it's next to the tracks. I've always wondered about train noise levels in places like this. Now we're gonna know what that's like. Okay, the train tracks are right there. Look at that! 
One way to look at this place is that it's a three bedroom apartment for $2,800 next to the train tracks. But on the bright side, it'll get you to Manhattan in 30 minutes. All the rooms are getting tons of natural light. The kitchen itself has been recently updated. Bathroom happens to be pretty good looking. All for less than a thousand bucks per person. Here's the train again. It's not that bad. You do hear it, but it doesn't shake the apartment. And believe it or not, this is the only available apartment in this whole building. It's not like the whole thing is empty, even though the whole thing is where it's located. The price here is hard to beat. Are there hidden features in the basement that we don't know about? Ooh, look at that. Got some laundry machines over here. That's great. And unofficial bike storage. But will we find like a roof deck or something? Oh boy, it looks that way. This door is just flapping in the breeze. Let's take a look. Oh wow, you can see the train going by. And look at that way over there, you can see the Empire State. And then this looks like the rest of Brooklyn. But look at how big this is. You could totally bring people up here and hang out, work on your tan, grill some food, get a hammock. You could even tamper with your neighbor's AC if you don't like them. Actually, that's probably a bad idea. Don't do that. Now we're gonna check this place out. If you're having fun on our little adventure, hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Because even though we don't always see the nicest places in town, we see see the places in town. Does that make any sense? Over here, you'll find the front door and the bathroom. Maybe you could put a small bench there and take off your shoes before you leave for the day or before you come home for the day, one of the two. After that, we've got the living room, which is an interesting shape, but is pretty big and pretty bright. Some of the tenant stuff is still here, which is probably why the floors haven't been fixed yet. The view we've got here is facing west towards the city. And the living room's got this section over here and then this section. This area by the window is 13 feet 2 inches by 6 feet 2 inches. Entertainment center goes there. And across from this right there you can have a big couch and a coffee table right in the center. It works. I didn't measure this area because it's like a triangle. But you could totally get a dining table against the wall there. And you've got a spot to sit and eat and watch TV. The kitchen here doesn't look too bad. It looks like it's got everything. Stove, medium fridge, no dishwasher, no sink sprayer. But there's a microwave and there are some outlets so you can plug stuff in if you want. Plus the cabinet space overall is workable. And I think these remotes are for whatever type of light show the last tenant had installed up here. Let's check out the bedrooms. I think they're all decent. This first room, 10 feet 3 inches by 8 feet 1 inch. Closet space looks decent. This will definitely work. And if you put your bed over here by the window, next to where it is against that wall, you could definitely get some extra storage. And you could possibly put something there between those two doors. Now the other two bedrooms are these over here past the kitchen. This one looks pretty big. Again, the shape, you can see it's not a perfect square. Window here faces the same direction as everything else, so it is sunny. And the measurement here, 10 feet 4 inches by 8 feet 9 inches of space. And hey, even though it's not perfect, it'll fit a queen size bed. You can fit a dresser and probably even a desk. Closet's the same as the other rooms. This room is not bad at all. But I think the best room in the apartment has has to be this one because of the two windows and because it has the most geographically familiar shape to it. This window right here also faces east, so it's gonna be the brightest room in the apartment. It's really big, seven feet six inches by 11 feet three inches. The bed probably goes over there and then you can have storage against this wall and then over there you can have a home office setup. Closet here is also the same as what we had in the other bedrooms, which means you are definitely gonna wanna put a dresser or something in there, but hey, at least there's room for it. Now the bathroom is this guy right over here. Maybe the colors in here aren't my favorite, but it is nice. You've got this big mirror, which looks like it's just a mirror. Decent sink, storage beneath the sink, and check out the tub. You could actually take a bath in here if you wanted to, which is nice. So many of these New York bathtubs just catch the raindrops from your shower. And it looks like there's also a fan up there, which you can use to air this place out after taking a shower. What did you think I was gonna say? But if you wanna save money on rent, the agent's contact is below, and then pick another apartment tour right here, and I will see you in the next video.